Good evening everyone and welcome to day 8 of my Gorge Terror Reviews. Tonight review, I will be reviewing the 1987 movie, The Gate. Which only has your on time 87 minutes, or roughly sorry, 85 minutes. And you can say, you can make it call this a fantasy horror. And it can move for the family. Now we me trying to pronounce this director's name now. Tyball Tekes. Writer Michael Napkin. And stars Stephen Dorf and he was in such movies like Blade and this was his uh, movie debut and he played Clint it's, and it stars Christopher Denton as Al or Alexander what she prefers her name be called and she was in a TV movie called The Burning Bed was basically her first movie back in 1983. Got Lewis Trip. I mean, he, he came back in the second movie as Terrence Terry Chandler. We got the couple minor characters Carrie Warren, Laura Lee, Jennifer Irene, Linda Lee. And we got the parents to Glenn and Nell. Deborah Groover as mom, Scott Denton as dad. Couple of friends, Ingrid Finnegar, Finnegar, I don't know how to pronounce that joint, as Paula, Sheen, sorry, Sean Fagan as Eric, Linda Granson as Terry's mom. And Andrew Gunn as Brad. And John Paul Young, Minions, Father, Uncredited. To get to the plot, the young boy you can then release a horde of nasty bit sized demon from a hole in a suburban backyard. What follows is a classic battle between good and evil. As the two kids struggle to overcome a nightmarish hell that literally begin to take over the earth. Okay, what can I see about this film? I will start with prose. Uh, I found the film was well written, you know, well directed. I liked the story. You know, um, about these boys that now after a tree, you know, is removed from the property and they come across these, um, things with, you know, with, with stones and whatever they are in it and they think it's fireable, so they keep on digging and they actually open could be uh, like a gateway to hell. So that was quite creative. And what comes from that is the little punch demons who basically, you know, run around cause havoc. You know, they think they get rid of them by throwing his bobble in and his hole covered up. But the when they get to the like 25 minute mark, you think it's all, it's all over. But nah, there's still a lot of time to go. And this is when more fun comes. When they come back in more, you know, disguised and look like zombies or dead things. But it's basically there's point size, you know, demons in disguise, more or less, too try to 
freaking in the hell or whatever they were trying to do. And like the big um, demon that comes. Puppetry is quite good in this film. You know, the um, demon looked pretty cool. You know, the little pond sorry one and then that big one as well that comes out later on. Acting the sword, I mean, from the main three, you know. You know, you the thing these um, kids, you know, ones that are like 15 year old and to like 12, whatever they are. You know, does it, does it well, you know, for them, basically for a first timer, which was, you know, Stefan Dorf, you know, and, um, he did a good, a good job, um, the, um, Stefan, like, Christina Devon, Deaton, sorry, and yeah, she did a good job, and the friend, neighborhood friend, Lois Tripp, you know, Terence, yeah. It did a good job together, but it's only a minor character or a jerk. So it's basically there for friends, you know. The effects, you know, for the time, it's pretty cool. I like how the film looked, you know, and how the, this, um, basically this portal is trying to take over the earth. And after that, just, you know, they closed this portal, covered in ground again, trapping them in. And they got a good music score. You know, it's got metal music. Which I don't mind. I like a bit of metal. Bit of 80 classic metal. Love it, you know. And this is what this movie had. Classic, you know, um, 80 music, metal music. Which was pretty cool. That's fun to go up and we were quite we were enjoyed it. So to know the the pros. No con, sorry. Um I found the, f the first um half of the film was a bit slow and just really took time to get things going. I know what they were trying to do. It just um when you get to the like Halfway point, this is where the demons come. It's just really not much going on. We were jeans, we were, a, um, you know, a dream sequence and trying to work out why the, I mean, they were here, they were, they were demons around and stuff. It's not really, um, took a little while to get going, I thought. Not bad. It's there for, you know, character development. We know who the characters are, you know, and what they are in the story. It's kind of annoying characters. You know, there's a friend and two owl. I know they're there for the story. And yeah, they come back in the second half. And then it's then there for a little while, though, thank goodness. There are a lot of kids. You know, Laura Lee and Linda Lee, you know, our friends. They're kind of a, they're for money character as well. To couple the those guys to show up. I guess they're dated. Elf. Effects might look a bit outdated these days. And I didn't like the, you know, the defeat of the big, big demon. I thought that was, um, his defeat was rather, yeah, um, stupid. Glenn just shoots his rocket at him. And more as, you know, it's getting back to hell and everything goes back to normal. Really? You know, that's what, you know, what you expect from me like this. And these movies that can focus on gore, kills anything. 
they 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 they, they should call havoc. Oh, thank you for having me. Okay, so, um, I got a good move for the family, I guess. Um, I'd say good for ten and over. No, I mean, thank you for that. Get a little bit scary. Maybe for the you know younger people might find what happens in this film, these things. You know, some whole albums in the having in the film. With these dead things that appear. Get a bit creepy, you know. I thought I enjoyed the film, I thought it was okay. Not the greatest. Fake act no my fake half coin a lot better. But what what it can do? Like I mentioned it was just there to build to, to build up the story. To um to build up the characters. To know who the characters are. And to bring in the you know how the demons come in. Yeah, good film. Really good it's fun for Halloween. You know, fun for this time of year. So I'm guessing glad I reviewed this movie for this time of year. And well well we well, watch this. I love to track down this on um a media, you know, on D V D or Blu ray. I watch it on Prime, so um Yeah, it was fun to watch. Definitely return to it. I mean, I don't mind a family movie with all the um, creatures, you know, no, no language, you know, no blood and gore, no sex. I recommend it's good for the family. I recommend it. I guess you make it called a sin in a way. I mean, what's it to recommend? You like family movie with monsters? Yeah, go for it. To my grave now, want to give it. I get it. Yes, I think it's seven to eight. Fair for this. I wouldn't give it higher. I mean, the second half is the best part. You know, the first half just drag on a bit. It takes a while to get going. So seven ten for that. For the second half, and. For the fake half, it's okay. It's well. So, once again, now uh, yeah. Seven to ten. Okay, um, okay, one of that's, um, day eight for my, um, Ghost Tower View, which is, happens during the 31 days of Halloween from October 1 to 31. So, Day 9 tomorrow, one week down, I mean the second week now. Okay, um, I'll see you tomorrow with another review, and that will be revealed tomorrow. So until then, take care, peace, and do that nightmares. Catch you later. Bye for now.